World AIDS Day was just one month ago. As we enter 2014, Dr. Howard Koh, U.S. Assistant Secretary for Health, reflects on the state of HIV in the United States. Each year, the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, works with the White House and our partners to observe World AIDS Day. The observance always gives us an opportunity to remember those lost to AIDS, review the progress we've made, and look to the future toward an AIDS-free generation. This year marked the 25th annual World AIDS Day and the 10th anniversary of the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR, which now supports treatment for 6.7 million people around the globe. Here in the United States, we continue to work toward implementing the President's National HIV AIDS Strategy, a comprehensive plan to ensure that all those living with HIV have access to life-extending care. There's some good news here at home. We are seeing encouraging drops in the number of HIV infections for many groups. But the good news is tempered by our concerns over a rise in infections among young gay and bisexual men, especially young men of color. To address that issue and to build on our current prevention, testing, and treatment outreach, HHS and our partners are also supporting the President's new HIV Care Continuum Initiative. This initiative aims to improve our abilities to help people receive treatment for HIV, as well as the care and treatment they need and deserve. We will also continue to support other key programs, such as the Ryan White Care Program, which helps people in underserved communities to pay for their HIV-related care. The Affordable Care Act is also making a big difference for people living with or at risk for HIV. Thanks to the health care law, people cannot be denied health insurance because of their HIV status, and they will be able to get access to affordable coverage, which will include free HIV testing. So we're making progress. We will continue our focus on investments to communities that are still being hit hardest, including gay and bisexual men, African Americans, and Latinos. We will continue our research on a potential cure for HIV. As part of the White House's World AIDS Day observance, President Obama announced that the National Institutes of Health would reallocate $100 million to advance research into an HIV cure. And as 2014 begins, there are many reasons for optimism. We are focusing on providing prevention services to those who will benefit most. We are working to ensure that people receive the care and treatment they need to stay healthy and remain in treatment. We are supporting efforts to extend affordable health insurance to all those who need it. And we are working to find a way to end the threat of HIV at home and across the globe. Together, we are moving toward an AIDS-free generation.